Hi, it's Barry, Sue's husband, aka Stem Cell Samurai. Okay, just going to take you from uh, from the Vega to the hospital via the metro and the trolley bus. Okay, here we go. Out the front door, turn right. Now, just to the left of that building, it's just on the edge of the video, there's a little row of uh, various shops. Uh, little cafe I think, uh, food store, grocery store, a couple other things. That uh, building in front with the red trim, uh, that's actually an Italian restaurant. We did buy a pizza from there one night, um, yeah, so-so. Wasn't what I was used to and um, yeah. Anyway, keep on moving forward. Okay, we're just going to walk up beside this uh, glass-tinted building. I'm not sure what that pyramid is there for. Maybe for an underground car park. It seems to have a bit of a pond around it, which of course at this point in time, it's uh, frozen. Okay, we're going to come up onto uh, basically a bit of a boulevard where that taxi's driving. Um, if you turn left there and keep on walking, it'll take you to a Kremlin where they have Sunday markets. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce the actual name of it, uh, but it's basically the name of the suburb. And Kremlin just means fortress. Okay, just down these couple of little stairs here, just on the other side of that little yellow shack to our right, uh, there's a restaurant and a subway, no carrot, if you would like carrot on your subway, sorry not going to happen. Okay, that little green uh, flashing cross there, that's a little um, chemist or pharmacy. And uh, on the left there, that building is uh, one of the motel in the complex. Looks like there's a barbecue chicken shop there, cafe, uh, some sports betting shop. And a couple other shops there, it's right at the end there, looks like to be another small uh, grocery store, very small. Okay, I'm going to cross over the pedestrian crossing here, uh, look to your right first, because that's where the traffic comes from if you're an Aussie. They drive on the left-hand side of the road here. Okay, that building in front it looks... It's got a hungry... No, sorry. Not a hungry jacks. Burger King. Okay, we're going to turn left here. Now, that complex has got a few other shops in there. I'm not too sure exactly what's in there yet. Right in front across the street, here's another larger... What appears to be grocery store. Looks like it's even got a bar inside. Turn right, and then we turn left right here. That um, cream building on our right there, that is the metro entrance. been told, I haven't confirmed it yet, but that building in front with the um, semicircular glass fascia is an Italian restaurant, apparently is better than the other one. Okay, we're going to turn right, and then right in the doors, look for the yellow dot, especially when it comes to the card readers. Okay, through security. Lots of security around Moscow. A lot of metal detectors. And x-ray machines for your baggage and luggage. Even at the motel. Okay, down the stairs. Uh, 
All right, don't go to the first turnstile. That's pay wave. Your metro card doesn't work. So, kind gentleman just in front of me there pointed that out to me. He's telling me to go to the next one along. See the yellow dot? Okay. Make sure the turnstile's got a yellow dot. And away we go. Now you noticed the number. It was 46. That means I've got 46 more rides to go. That includes the trolley bus. Okay, turn right at the statue and then down the stairs. Okay, don't worry if the train is leaving the station as you come down the stairs. The next train will be right along. Right, right on cue. Okay, that was my jog for the day. I'm slowly getting back into fitness. Okay, once we're on the train, I'll turn the camera off because that young lady there uh, actually sat opposite me and I thought I'd better turn it off. Okay, travel on the subway for the second station, the second stop from here, and that'll bring you out right here. Out of the train, turn left, and up the stairs. And depending on the time of the day you catch the subway and the trolley bus, it could be very busy. Lots of people um, hustling and bustling. Don't get too concerned about getting um, pushed around. And just go with the flow. Okay, we turn left through the doors and then up the stairs. And we're back up on the street level. Okay, straight ahead, and uh, I think I'll go for another little jog here. There the, uh, yep, there I go. The traffic lights have a countdown, so you know exactly how long you got to cross the street. Okay, just to the left here is the bus stop. Okay, don't catch this. Just a minibus. Don't know where they go. Don't know how much. Don't know if they actually use the Metro card. Okay, trolley buses come every five minutes or thereabouts. So if you miss one, don't worry. It's only another five minutes or so and the next one will be along. Okay, just turn the camera off there for a little bit while we waited for the trolley bus to arrive. So um, it's about to pull up now. Here we go. When you get on the trolley bus, just near the um, driver's cabin, uh, you'll see another little yellow card reader. Just swipe your card across it. I keep mine in the pocket in my glove. Um, for those that have been skiing, a lot of gloves apparently have a um, pocket on the back of them for your ski pass for this exact purpose. Anyway, we'll let everybody get on. Don't be scared to sort of push your way in. Uh, don't get aggressive. There it is, there's the card reader. 
Don't get aggressive, but just be a little bit assertive. Don't be scared. Because I've got a backpack on, I didn't want to sit down. A bit too hard at times. Okay, now for our trolley bus ride. See the street because the people standing in front of me. That's okay. Okay. You see that a lot. People on the trolley buses, on the trams, on the metro, and driving. Okay, stop number one. So even while they're driving the car, they're on the mobile phone, texting and that. Uh, it can be quite scary when you're in the car and the driver's texting away and it's snowing. Roads are icy. Uh, the day that I recorded this, it was a little bit grizzly. Not so much snow. Okay, right on that corner right there, that is a Domino's Pizza. And I think that was some sort of um, grocery or department store or something or other. Had toys and stuff in it. A little bakery, mobile phones in that complex there, or a little strip mall. A couple of mobile phone shops, lots of mobile phone shops. In almost every corner you'll see a ice cream. Stand. Russians will love their ice cream apparently. So okay, that's stop number two. A little bit of delay here, that car just at the left of the video. If you've had the lights on, was blocking the lane. Yeah, the trolley bus had to weave his way around it. Not uncommon for people to pull off against the curb and just put the hazard lights on and just sit there for no apparent reason. Okay, that's in a restaurant in there. Hey. The lady needed assistance, so I gave her a hand back at the bus stop. She had to really getting up. No dramas. People of Moscow have helped me out while I've been here, so return the favour. Okay. A bit of a purple building here, around the corner. When you see that, get ready to jump off. Once we go through the intersection, that is the bus stop. interesting thing with um, traffic lights in Moscow they have a timer a countdown timer so they'll go red and then they'll count down I think it's about 30 seconds so you know exactly how long you've got to wait until the light goes green 
even for the pedestrian crossing. Okay, here we come to our stop. Now, see that green door? That is supermarket. And that's the one that gets mentioned in some of the documentation. Lots of supermarkets, but that's the green door one. Okay, we'll just wait for this lady to um, disembark. Not exactly the best spot to be getting off, but hey, got no control over the bus driver. Okay. Now, at this intersection, if you just look across to the right there where that pole is, that's the bus stop where you catch the trolley bus home. Trolley bus number 22. Okay, we're going to turn left here. Head down this street. black ice, it's not exactly smooth, but it is, it is all buggering. Okay, a little bit coming up here, I didn't want to take the risk. I've actually um, churned up snow that's refrozen. Now, it's not smooth like many people believe, it can be rough, but um, still just as slippery. All this uh, water that um, has fallen as drizzle will eventually refreeze and form lovely black ice. Went for a skate once, didn't go over, but hey, ice is ice. Not much further now. I don't have to put up with my voice for much longer. Okay, see that rough patch there? Just in front. Yeah, just going around it. Um, that can be very, very very slippery. Okay. Almost at the traffic light. straight ahead here, but if you just look to the right, come on Dave, turn to your right mate, come on, there we go, okay, see that red stripe in the green door, that's another little supermarket, and not as big as the, the one up on the main street, okay, cross over, and turn left, now those buildings behind that fence, that is the hospital complex. Actually quite big and you may have noticed a um, over pedestrian overpass. And that goes into another fenced off uh, building as you walk down the street on your right. Um, obviously that must be part of the hospital complex as well. Almost at the guard house. So you need to get your um, pass that Anastasia gives you. You can't get in or out of the hospital compound without that pass. 
Uh, these guys didn't really want to get out of my way. I think they were too busy checking out my camera that was um, hooked up to my chest strap. Usually people will get out of the way relatively quick, quickly once they realise you're there. Now I'm just going to cover the camera here for a moment while I go through the guardhouse. I just didn't want to take the risk. They are Russian Army personnel in the guardhouse. Okay, we are now inside the hospital compound. Another short walk, not that far, maybe 150 metres. I'm a little bit surprised at um, how well it picked up all the um, sound of me walking. The camera was in a um, waterproof case and I expected it to be muffled. Anyway, get one of these things. front of the van. Okay, that's where we would normally enter. But I'm not going to go in there that this trip. Um, no, that's the door there. Okay. We'll go in that door when you arrive for the first time and dropped off by the hospital driver. That is locked. And once it starts to get a bit dark around 6.30, 7 o'clock ish. So to get in and out if you've gone out for a bite to eat at a restaurant or whatever, uh, this is the way you've got to get in. Now, if you're in a wheelchair, it's a little bit more difficult. Now, this is the fire exit. It's open 24-7, so we'll just pop in here. Okay, now, if you're in a wheelchair, you'll have to get somebody to bring you up the steps to this door, and through that, and you'll be able to get in the lift. As Sue's on level two, I oh, just walked up the stairs. Now the hematology department is level two and three. So of course, if you're on level three, you can just climb another set of stairs and um, you're there. Okay, level two, here we go. By the way, the lifts are slow, so um, if you can walk up the stairs, it's a lot quicker. There we go, we're at the hotel. Oh, sorry, at the hospital. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you getting to and from the Vega or the motel and uh, across and from the hospital. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.